Hello everyone, I'm Adriza. Welcome back. Today, I'm back with a quite interesting and helpful video for you all. Today, we are going to learn about phrasal verbs using put. So, before that, we need to know what are phrasal verbs. So, let me tell you what are phrasal verbs. A verb and after that, just a normal verb and after that, if we add a preposition or an adverb. The combination of both of these is known as phrasal verb. So a phrasal verb combines a normal verb and then a preposition or an adverb together to form a completely new verbal phrase. So let's take the example of put. What is the meaning of put? Put means to keep something at a particular place, to place something at a particular place. But when we use put with another preposition or adverb and turn it into a phrasal verb, at that time the meaning changes completely. So today we are going to discuss some phrasal verbs using put like put off, put on, put up, put down, put by and many more. So the first phrasal verb that we are going to learn about today is put off. Put and after that off. So what does put off means? The simplest meaning is to delay, to postpone. Okay, means to make something happen later. That means to postpone or delay. That is where we use put off. So let me give you an example. We need to put off the date of picnic due to bad weather. Here put off means delay. We need to postpone the date of picnic for bad weather. So that is what that is why we use put off here. So see put means something else and put off means absolutely something else. So that is how a phrasal verb works. So now let's move to the next one that is put on. So with put we add on. Put on means to wear something on our body. So put it can be clothes, it can be jewelry, it can be glasses, it can be makeup even. Okay, but put on means to wear something on our body. Let me give you some examples. It's freezing outside. Put on your jacket. Here put on means to wear your jacket. You should put on your sunglasses on the beach. You can put on your lipstick if you want. So this is where we use put on. Now the next phrasal verb is put up. So with put we add up, put up. So what does put up means? Put up means to raise the price or to raise the value of something. I'm giving you an example. Um, ICICI Bank has decided to put up their interest rate. So what does it mean? Put up means to raise the value, to raise the price. ICICI Bank has decided to raise, right, to put up their interest rates. So this is what put up means. Now the next phrasal verb is put down. So we completed put up. Now let's learn about put down. What does put down mean? Actually, the meaning of put down is very simple. It means to keep something down. So it actually matches with the phrasal verb put down, keep something down. So I'm giving you an example. Put down the receiver after ending the call. So here put down means to keep the receiver down, right? Put down the receiver after ending the call. Now. Put down actually means something else as well. It means to write down something. Okay, so when you write down something, you can use put down there as well. So I'm giving you an example. You can put down my phone number for further contact. Here put down means write down. You can write down my phone number for further contact. So there we use put down. So we learn two meanings of put down. One is to keep something down and the second one is to write down. Actually, there are a lot of other meanings of these phrasal verbs. These phrasal verbs are used in a lot of places, 
but I'm just telling you some of the meanings of. Now the next one is put in. With put we add in. So what is the meaning of put in? Put in means to invest time, to give some time or effort for some work. I mean to spend our time doing some work. To invest time actually it sounds more appropriate to invest time and effort for some work. Let me give you an example. Generally I put in 8 hours per day for my studies. Here what does put in means? To invest my time. Generally I spend. Kinda it is, it is similar to spend right. So generally I put in 8 hours per day for my studies. I invest 8 hours per day for my studies. So here put in means to invest time. So this is the meaning of put in. Now let's move to the next phrasal verb that is put out. Put out. So what is the meaning of put out? One of the meanings of put out is that to extinguish fire. So what is the meaning of extinguish? To reduce and finally stop the fire. Right. So to control and stop the fire that means to extinguish the fire. So at that time we use the phrasal verb put out. Example, the firefighters took about four hours to put out the fire. Okay, here put out means to extinguish. The firefighters took about four hours to extinguish the fire. Over there we just use put out. The firefighters took about four hours to put out the fire. So this was put out. Now let's move to the next one that is put back. What does put back means? To keep something in its original position. So it means to return something to its original place. Let me give you an example. I will put back the book on the shelf after reading it. So the book was on the shelf. I took the book. Now I'm reading it and I'm saying that I'll put back the book after reading it. Means I will keep the book in the original position. I will return the book to its original place. So that is what put back means. I'll put back the book on the shelf after reading it. So these are a few phrasal verbs with put. There are a lot of other phrasal verbs but today I discussed a few of these. So this was for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any suggestions then please make sure to write it down in the comment box below. So if you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe for more such English related videos. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye.